Good afternoon. Today it's Friday. It's Friday, the end of the week. The days are going by really fast. It's Friday, June the 14th. And this is Dorothy Simon sitting in for Jim Lakey. And we are at Cable Channel 3. And you can also catch us on the web at sandylandcenter.org. sandylandcenter.org. Uh, looking at our weather for the weekend, uh, the forecast seems to indicate some damaging winds, hail, and a few tornadoes in parts of the east and on the prairie plains. But right now in the square, it is a sunny, windy 92. Uh, looking forward this evening or this afternoon to a high of 100 and a low tonight or early morning of 71 with winds of 22 miles per hour. Saturday, we can look forward to some more scattered thunderstorms, a 40% chance of rain, winds right at 15 miles per hour, and a high of 88 and a low of 67. Sunday should bring some more scattered thunderstorms, a 40% chance of rain, winds at 40 miles per hour, and a high of 91, and cooling off during the evening hours to a low of 65. Today, like I said, it's June the 14th, and we just want to wish Audrey Nasser a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Audrey, and if you see her, give her a good happy birthday handshake. Uh, in our community. We want to congratulate Mr. Rodney Lyons the, as our new city um, attorney for St. John. And Mr. Lyons lives right here in our community, he lives in the city, and he operates uh, a law office right here. So congratulate Mr. Rodney Lyons and his new appointment. And this is one thing I'm pleased of. The mayor had declared a, um, Arbor Day as April the 26th and Saint, he's urging St. John and all citizens to plant trees to gladden the heart and promote the well-being of this and future generations. And I am certainly enjoying the trees in um, the city. So if you haven't taken a look at our beautiful park, stroll through the park, enjoy the trees and around the city and do plant some more trees, like the mayor says, for future generations. It's beautiful. Um, we will also want to continue to, con to encourage the young people at the, from the Friends of the Library with their summer reading program. It's very good to keep the young people engaged and reading is such fun. Uh, on, on June the 26th, they will be reviewing the, the book, Digging Up Dinos. I know the young people kindergarten through fifth grade would be very interested in dinosaurs and things like that. And on Thursday the 18th at 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock at the Sunflower Senior Center, uh, they will be having the regular community distribution of agricultural products. Uh, do remember if you want to pick up a package for somebody else other than yourself, they will ask you to fill up and sign a form. So be prepared for that. Then on June the 20th, also at the Senior Center, there's going to be a workshop sponsored by the Prairie Independent Living Center of Hutchinson. The workshop will be on visual impairment and they promise to have lots of information and um, equipment and household items that you can use if you're visually impaired. So if you need some help in that area or you know people that need that help or just really for good useful information, do plan to attend that um, workshop at 9 until 10.30. And everyone is encouraged to attend. And coffee and cookies will be served also. Looking at our menus from the Maxville Center, today, uh, Friday the 14th, they'll be serving chili or beef stew, a tossed salad with um, green peppers, carrots, apricots, crackers, and cinnamon roll. 
And on Monday, it will be Salisbury steak, cream peas, Brussels sprouts, bread and peaches. And on Tuesday, oven fried chicken, mashed potatoes, beets, and rolls and mandarin oranges. So do visit the um, Maxwell Center if you are in the area. It's a very worthwhile meal. And at the Senior Center in St. John, they'll be serving a Hawaiian chicken, rice, mixed vegetables, coleslaw, and then lemon pie. And on Monday, they have steak, baked potatoes, beans, wax beans, tossed salad, and ice cream on the menu. And on Tuesday, uh, Hawaiian meatballs, rice pilaf, carrots, fruit, and cinnamon um, pudding, a cream pudding. So all very enticing and healthy uh, menus at either center. And food for thought, or, or thought for the day. You know you have grown up the day you have your first Rila at yourself. You know you're really grown up the day you have your first Rila at yourself. So laugh at yourself and have a very good weekend.